and sisters, Jesus continues his instruction or to his disciples. He reminds me of a boy scout leader who is preparing his scouts for a hike or camp out. You know scouts, they do have that motto, be prepared. If anything happens, you are ready to go, to do something. Everything is on time. And that's why when I was still a scout boy, we, we used to sing, be prepared is our motto. Be prepared is our motto. What is your motto as a Christian? To prepare ourselves. Jesus' instruction is very simple. He tells his disciples that they need to be prepared. However, the event they need to be prepared for is the hour when the Son of Man will come. Jesus tells them that he will come at a time when they do not expect him. Thus, they need to be alert and attentive. They need to have open minds and open hearts. The question comes to you and me, who is listening? Are we prepared? Are you prepared? It is a question to ponder about. Jesus also is telling us to be prepared today, now, not tomorrow, today. If he calls me right now, if Jesus comes to me as Patrick, am I prepared? Let us take a minute and think. If Jesus comes today, right now, and he looks at you and says, Oh, look at my faithful servants. They're in the church. I want to take you where I am. Can we go? Are we prepared? It is a question to ponder about because Jesus keeps reminding you and me. We do not know how or when Jesus will come, but he will come to us this day. Will having this assurance make a difference in how you go about your day? Will we be looking for Jesus in every person or every situation today? Or will we just go about our business as usual? Anything we do, let us be prepared. Because you don't know when that hour is going to come. The reality is that Jesus comes to us every day, not just periodically. The difficult lies with us. We may not expect Jesus to be present, or we may be too busy to notice his coming, or we may not have the open eyes or heart to recognize him. Jesus often comes to us in a disguise. He will be there with us. But the question is, will you recognize him? Will you notice that Jesus is with you? The last one, it is a story about this faithful lady who always went to church to pray. He knelt down and said, Jesus, I want you to come and visit me. Please, I need you at home. Jesus said, 
I will come on Saturday at one o'clock next week. This lady invited he, her friends to organize a banquet and prepared everything, prepared high table and put everything, cocktails here. You know, Jesus is coming. At one o'clock, a man showed up with long hair, rum shackled hair, dirty, with wounds, and he came. Everyone was like, we are preparing for Jesus. Go away. Jesus is coming. He should not come and find this madman here. Go, go, go. They kicked him away. They waited and waited and waited. Jesus never showed up. The lady went back to church and complained. Jesus, you were a liar. You told me you were coming on Saturday at 1, and you didn't come. Jesus said, I came at 1 o'clock, and you kicked me away. My dear brothers and sisters, let us listen. Let us be attentive, because we don't know when the Son of Man is going to come. Thank you for joining us today. Our digital ministry provides a valuable service to parishioners and visitors alike. How wonderful that we can share God's Word, the celebration of the Eucharist, and other important words and events with those who may not be able to be with us in person. If you would like to support this effort, please go to olphglenview.org. Click on the gold donate button and then the Sunday giving icon to make a contribution on our secure online giving portal. We sincerely appreciate your past and ongoing support. Thank you for helping us continue this ministry. God bless.